Mm -hmm. GDP slowed down to 1.5%. Uh, we are barely at stall speed. This is the worst uh, jobs quarter we've had in two years, the worst recovery uh, in about 60 years, the highest debt and the biggest government since World War II, and the highest poverty rates in a generation. Um, the president believes that his government-directed economy, government-centered society works. It doesn't. And if you want to find out what these policies end up looking like, turn on the TV and look at Europe. Eventually, you run out of other people's money to spend. Eventually, this kind of government command and control, crony capitalism, corporate welfare, reward interest groups and friends and cronies, that kind of an economy fails. It is failing. The president's policies aren't working. And we really need to replace the president so we can replace these policies and get us back on track. First of all, Republicans uh, need to learn a lesson that Milton Friedman taught us, which is we should not be pro-business. We should be pro-market. And of years late, Republicans got confused about that. A lot of Republicans thought by giving some kind of benefit, whether it's an earmark, a pork barrel spending item, a tax benefit, or some regulatory um, favorable treatment, to a company, a sector, or a business, they thought that was being pro-market when it's really being corporate welfare, crony capitalism. And what Milton Friedman would have said, I think, is get rid of the corporate welfare, the crony capitalism, treat everybody the same, and be pro-free market. I think there's a resurgence of that viewpoint in the Republican Party. For us as Republicans, it's, it's, it's going back to our core principles and recognizing that we drifted from them. That's point number one. Point number two, what Milton Friedman would say today is if we simply restore the foundations for economic growth, we will grow our economy and get out of the mess we are in. He would also, I think, be extremely critical of the Federal Reserve, of the massive monetary easing that's occurring, and how inflation is a phenomenon that we still do not yet understand, and that we're really playing with fire from, from a monetary policy standpoint. And the faster we can get to sound money, the better off we're all going to be, and the less likely that the, that the Federal Reserve will end up debasing our currency, which would wipe out the living standard of, of, of ordinary Americans who have all of their savings denominated in dollars.